This is Empatica 3.6. Uh, I don't have the key to Empatica 4, but this will work fine since we saved it in the old PPT file extension. So on the Empatica window, I'm going to click on the Add button. And I'll browse to that folder on my desktop. Here's the PowerPoint. I'm going to click Open. Then I'm going to click on the Extra Output Files tab. And I'm going to check the box that says Zip Package. It's actually the zip file that we're going to upload into WebCT. And I'm going to click the Empathize button. And it's all done. So I'm going to click Done and close Empatica. Now, if I open that folder on my desktop, it has the Empatica files plus that zip file. That's the one we're going to upload to WebCT. So now I'm going to bring up WebCT. I'll have to log in. Enter my password and click OK. And I'm going to put this in my training room. And make sure that I'm on the Build tab. And then I'm going to click on File Manager. And then click Get Files. And the Git Files window opens up. And I'm going to click on my computer. Click on the Browse button. Go to the desktop. Go to that folder that has the PowerPoint file. Find the zip file. Click once to select it. Click Open. And then on the Git Files window in WebCT, click OK. And there's the zip file. Now we click on the little drop down arrow next to the name and click Extract. And now under my file manager, I have a folder that's the same name as the zip folder, but now it says folder. I'm going to go back out to my course content. I'm going to click on my learning module and then I'm going to click add file, browse for files, and then I'm going to click on that folder that we just created in the last step. And there's the three Empatica files. The one you're going to choose is the HTML file. Just check the box next to it. Click OK. There it is. I'm going to click on Student View. I'm going to click on the Learning Module. And I'm going to click on the file. And here it is. Read in WebCT. You click on the slide to advance it. Now it's hard to see. It doesn't fit in this window that I'm recording. And that's it.